No progress has been made at the latest round of Gaza truce talks in Egypt, a Hamas official told Reuters on Monday, shortly after Egyptian sources said headway had been made on the agenda. The official, who asked not to be named, said, quote, There is no change in the position of the occupation, and therefore there is nothing new in the Cairo talks. Israel and Hamas sent teams to Egypt on Sunday for another try at reaching a ceasefire in a deadly conflict that's now been going on for six months. U.S. CIA Director William Burns arrived on Saturday, with Qatar and Egypt also in attendance. Early on Monday, the Egyptian Al Qahira News had reported that all parties involved had agreed on basic points. The state-affiliated TV channel said the Hamas and Qatar delegations will return within two days to agree on the terms of a final agreement. This comes after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stressed again on Sunday his country would not agree to a ceasefire without the release of hostages. While Hamas repeated its demands, which include a permanent ceasefire, the full withdrawal of Israeli forces from Gaza and a return of displaced people. Netanyahu said that despite growing international pressure, Israel would not give in to extreme demands from Gaza's Islamist rulers. Western countries have voiced outrage over what they see as an unacceptably high Palestinian civilian death toll and humanitarian crisis in Gaza, resulting from Israel's campaign to destroy Hamas. Hamas killed 1,200 people in its rampage into southern Israel on October 7th, according to Israeli tallies. More than 33,100 Palestinians have been killed in the Israeli response, according to the health ministry in Gaza. Netanyahu faces domestic pressure too, with weekly demonstrations in Tel Aviv and now Jerusalem as well. Protesters are pushing the government to make a deal to save the remaining hostages taken in the bloody October 7th attack.